Dealing with a partner or close loved one's anxiety disorder can be tough, but with the right strategies, you can be there for them through thick and thin, which is why in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can support a loved one who is struggling with anxiety without letting it wreck your relationship. You are not alone if you are seeking advice on how to support your partner or loved one who experiences anxiety. Many people come to therapy with similar questions like, how can I support my partner when they're feeling anxious? Or how can I understand what they're going through and be there for them? It's important to acknowledge that anxiety can have a negative impact on relationships. So let's work together to develop healthy coping mechanisms. But first, if you're new to this channel, I'm Jordan Travers. I'm a licensed clinical psychotherapist and the clinical director of Awake Therapy. If you're interested in learning more about Awake Therapy, you can click on the link in the description. And if you're in need of psychological or emotional support, feel free to book an initial consultation with one of our therapists by visiting our website at www.awaketherapy.me. Okay, so let's get right into it. The first recommendation is don't let them feel misunderstood. Anxiety disorders come in various forms and it's crucial that you understand what your loved one is dealing with. Whether it's generalized anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, Disorder, panic disorder or a phobia, acknowledging their emotions as real and valid is key. Avoid countering their emotional reactions with logic, as this may make them feel misunderstood. Instead, try to help them regulate their emotions by asking simple questions about how they're feeling and allowing them to come to their own conclusion that their fear or anxiety is unfounded. Emotional regulation is an effective method to combat anxiety disorders. Techniques that focus on understanding, controlling, and responding to emotions can significantly reduce the behavioral and psychological signs of anxiety. The next way to support a loved one with anxiety is by knowing when to seek professional help. If the relationship problems stemming from your loved one's anxiety persist despite your efforts, seeking professional help is crucial. A mental health professional can help guide you both in addressing the lingering issues. Encouraging your loved one to attend therapy can provide practical tools and strategies for managing anxiety, and if you're in a romantic relationship, couples counseling can be beneficial too. Research published in the Journal of Couple and Relationship Therapy highlights the effectiveness of emotionally focused therapy for couples when one partner has generalized anxiety disorder. This therapy can address relationship distress caused by anxiety such as feelings of insecurity or the constant search for safety within the relationship. A few sessions with a therapist can help you understand your partner better, strengthen your bond, and process your emotions in a healthier way. So in conclusion, dealing with a loved one's anxiety can be challenging, but it's necessary to address it to build a healthy relationship. By practicing emotional regulation, creating a safe space, and seeking professional help when needed, you and your loved one can work together to manage anxiety and improve your relationship. Remember, it's important to prioritize self-care and seek support when necessary, as taking care of your own well-being is key to supporting the people who matter most to you. Thank you for watching and joining us today. If you found this helpful video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. And remember, platforms like YouTube are an excellent resource for getting information out to others. However, it does not take the place of individualized psychotherapy. If you need mental health assistance, whether to talk through a current issue or to create a more prosperous and fulfilling life, you can book an initial consultation using the link in the description. Take care and we'll see you next time. Bye.